Hey guys, my name is Shauna. I'm here to talk to you about my journey so far to Thailand. So it all started back in March during the first lockdown. Um, I signed up for a 120-hour internship TEFL course, so I completed that in my spare time. So when I first got in contact with Fern, she did a small interview with me just to kind of get to know me, what would be the best uh, school, uh, what would be the best age group, different things to find out where I could be located. So after this, they sent me a school profile. Um, I had to look up it, see if I was happy, and if I was, then accept it. Unfortunately, I actually wasn't uh, happy with my first placement as it was the only English teacher going to this area. So I actually said no to it and asked for for another location. She was delighted to help me, not a bother. Uh, she went and searched another school and she now has me placed in another area where there is lots more teachers, which is really good for me because I actually traveled by myself and I just wanted other teachers to make friends with that you could travel with and so on. So after I accepted my placement, I had to get the ball going with Fern and I had to organise uh, copies of my passport, my degree from Ireland, Garda checks, various things with her signature underneath them and sent to Fern. When these were sent to Fern, she then organised work permits with the education office in Thailand, the school a contract, various things that were then sent to me. When I received these uh, works, it gave me then the chance to apply for my visa. Now unfortunately, the Thai embassy in Dublin was surprisingly closed because of Covid so I actually had to apply online the e-visa uh, with London. So when I applied with London I completed the forms and then I had to scan all my documents from your passport to your uh, insurance to your um, just different various paperwork to be honest to them. Um, now the scary part of this was unfortunately I actually had to send my documents and passport by post because we weren't allowed to go visit the embassy with COVID. Um, so I had sent my uh, passport and documents by registered post. They received it and then had my visa within two days and sent back to me straight away. So it was actually quicker than I thought it was, but it was still very nerve wracking, as you can imagine, sending your passport in the post. After I received my visa, this is when we had to get things going as quick as possible I had to apply for a certificate of entry. You have to have one of these coming into Thailand and um, for this it's when you have to have your flight booked, you have to have your quarantine for two weeks documents, you have to have your insurance and um, just different various information. And I suppose the insurance is a big thing, it has to be health insurance that covers COVID and it actually has to say that on a letter as if it doesn't you will not get in, they're quite strict on that. So I booked uh, my flight with Emirates and then I booked me uh, quarantine then with a hotel from just a website, uh, it was called Thai East, they gave loads of recommendations, different prices, you could tell them what you wanted like balconies, microwaves, big room, different various things to make it more suit for you as it is you staying in the room for two weeks which I know can be a bit pressure. So obviously a few days coming up to my flight I was excited I had to do my packing we had to say goodbye to my friends which was a little bit awkward since we were in lockdown so it wasn't the send-off I actually always wanted but at least it was something um, before I had to get my flight I had to do a COVID test and a COVID test had to be done 72 hours before you arrive in Thailand so it has to cover the 16 hour flight to Thailand so that was quite nerve wracking because you had to find somewhere that would give you results, give you a certificate, everything in time for your flight. Um, I actually had to pay 240 euros for this so I get my results next day. Other areas gave uh, results but they couldn't guarantee me with uh, my results as quick so it kind of was nerve wracking would I get my results would I not would I have them in time so I actually paid the extra money just to settle myself and have them I also needed a fit to fly there was big massive drama about fit to fly with people because they didn't know what to do I just went to my doctor got them to take blood pressure check if I was all right and put it all in a letter saying that I am fit to fly it was that simple it wasn't a big deal at all
So after all that organising, it finally came the date for me to fly out to Bangkok. I was super excited, but of course, a little bit nervous. I went to the airport, I did my check-in and I flew through security. Because of COVID, Dublin airport was very quiet. There was very little people. So I went through all the check-ins, security, waited for my flight. While I waited for my flight, um, the Emirates plane came, landed, let the other people off. And there was actually a crew of 10 people going in the front door of the plane and doing a whole fumigation of the plane, which was really good to know that it was being cleaned thoroughly while we had to wait for our plane. So I eventually got onto the plane. We, uh, I was in the economy class, we had screens in front of us. Because the plane was actually so quiet, I had four seats beside me, which was great, so I meant I could lie down. So that was a bright side of the whole COVID and the small flights going out. My first flight went to Dubai. That was seven hours. I then had a changeover, so I had to do is leave the plane, do a two and a half hours and get to my next plane from then Dubai to Bangkok. Then the flight from Dubai to Bangkok was another seven hours. So in total, it was about 16 hours of travel. It was long, but the two planes kind of split up, so it wasn't too bad. In Dubai, there was uh, more check-ins for our paperwork to get onto the Thailand plane. So that's when they went through your paperwork of your flight, your passport, your quarantine uh, documents, your insurance. They truly checked all uh, forms before you step foot on the plane. When I got onto the plane, it was the same uh, atmosphere. It was still very quiet. You had screens in front of you, you got food and everything, so it was not too bad. And um, When we got off the plane, from leaving the plane to get to my quarantine hotel, it took altogether one hour. It was the fastest I have ever been through an airport. And when I got off my plane, we were guided into areas where there was seats and everyone had to sit down that were two meters apart and someone came all suited and booted in protective gear and uh, check all your documents. When you got checked here, you then had to go through another five checkpoints. And at every one, they checked your temperature, all the documents, so there was no way you were sneaking into Thailand, I can tell you that. After I went through all these checkpoints, I got my suitcase, and then when I walked out the door, there was a, a person waiting with a sign for me to go to my quarantine. I was then brought straight to my quarantine. Mine was about 15 minutes from the airport, so it was perfect. And then I just checked in, they took my temperature, they had to clean your shoes, they sprayed your shoes, sprayed your suitcases, um, and we had to sign up for different, uh, like the nurse checking your temperature twice a day, different varies. So I arrived at my quarantine for the next 15 days. Uh, the quarantine was lovely, I was staying at Diva Lux Resort Spa. It is 15 minutes outside of the airport, so it was nice and close and handy. So when I arrived there, they fumigated my shoes, my suitcases, and made me take my temperature, sanitize, and then I was checked into the hotel. I was then brought to my room. I had to stay in my room for the first five days until I got my COVID test. And then when I got my test, I then had to stay another two days until I got my test results. When my test results were passed negative, I was then allowed one hour in the relaxation area. So the relaxation area was where the swimming pool was. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to swim in the pool. You're only just allowed to walk and just uh, relax in the area outside. Uh, my hotel was quite strict on the hour, so they'd make you book the hour, and then when it was up, they made you go back to your room. Um, I actually really enjoyed my quarantine. I know that sounds ridiculous that you're locked in a room, but to be honest, the first week I was so jet lagged. I wasn't sleeping, then I was sleeping. So it really let me kind of build up my time, get it all sorted with the time zone. And also, um, I even adjusted my air conditioning as so I could climatize to the heat and get used to it. Because when you get used to air conditioning and then you go outside, there is a big heat difference. Like currently at the moment is 30 degrees here in Bangkok. It is quite warm, it's not even summer, it's winter here at the moment. So with my uh, quarantine, I actually paid 42,000 baht, which is about 1,100 euros, roughly for the 15 nights. Um, it sounds really expensive, but when you actually break it down, it ends up being 77 euros a night, and that includes your three meals that you get, 
all your COVID tests. So it actually works out quite cheap enough. I know it's just the effort of doing it. But um, overall, it was a good experience. I was delighted. My food was delicious. I'd actually recommend going expensive paying for your quarantine because you are there for 15 nights. Like I heard other people paying cheaper ones and their food wasn't great. Various problems with the room as well where I was delighted with my um, quarantine. Could not complain one bit about it. So during my quarantine, we actually did the three day orientation. Now, unfortunately, unlike other years, ours was by Zoom because of COVID, which I was a little disappointed, but I understood it's what we had to do. So this is where we got to meet the other teachers by Zoom. And then we met our recruiters. Uh, they talked to us about the different processes of uh, applying for different things, um, our curriculum, uh, the Thai culture, a little bit of Thai language, just various things that we'd need a little bit of information and if we needed more obviously they could supply it with us. So we did that uh, in quarantine. I was then left quarantine on Friday the 4th and I ran out the doors. I was so excited. So I first got a taxi then right into Bangkok where I booked a hotel for two nights. And they were having a hotel for us the Sunday night. So what I did was I stayed in Bangkok for two nights. I toured around, I got to see the Recline Buddha. I seen a Wata Room Temple. Um, I went to the biggest aquarium in um, the world and it was amazing. It was like shark tunnels, everything you could imagine. I also did a, obviously a bit of shopping. We all have to do that. Um, so I really enjoyed my two days of exploring Bangkok. Uh, I then traveled to the hotel. Sunday night and this is actually where we got to meet uh, six other teachers so when I met the six other teachers we went for food we had a few drinks we talked about our experience and compare things just had a good good laugh and to be honest it was a long time since I talked to anyone in English and had a good laugh so it was great to have that with them so we all went to bed then the next morning we then got taxis all together and went to office where we got introduced in person to uh, the recruiters that we had been talking to for months and months so it was really good to actually meet them in person it's like you knew them but you hadn't met them so uh, there we had to sign documents for our working permit and our visa extension because I have a non B visa I have to extend it because it only lasts three months so we had to sign documents we then also had to do a demo class where you did 10 minutes of teaching a class just to give them an idea and if there was any feedback. It wasn't anything major to be honest, it was quite relaxed. It was nothing to get worked up about or stressed to be honest. I quite enjoyed it. So they helped me get a taxi back to Bangkok where I am staying here now for one more night before I get a bus to my new home tomorrow. So my bus is going to be about five to six hours. I'm travelling to Chayapoom where I'm meeting one of the girls who I've been in contact with on Facebook for a couple of months now to uh, meet her and we are living together and we're going to be teaching in the same school. So it's an experience that I cannot wait and I'm assuming I'll be telling you more as the time goes on. Thank you.